I recorded this about three years ago, I think, especially smoky day around the old homestead. That entire summer was pretty smoky. The next one was also pretty smoky. Uh, took a little bit of a break and we're getting smoky again. This is one of the clearest days I've seen this summer. So what's going on? Every summer we seem to have more and more fires, more and more smoke. Well, I'm really not sure how to start this one out. This is not one of my normal videos. Uh, normally I'm talking about technical issues. This one is about something I've noticed over the last few years and I've done some study on it. And I've come to an opinion about global warming. And I think I have to say something about it. We have a lot of folks out there that uh, pretty much are denying this, saying it isn't happening, or if it is, it has nothing to do with humans. Uh, that's all a bunch of crap. And you're just trying to make up a story so that you don't have to change your way your life works. As I started this out, you saw some of the things that have happened nearby where I live. And almost every place in this country you can find evidence that the world's getting warmer. It's primarily because of CO2. And CO2, the amount of CO2 that's in the atmosphere, is caused by human interaction. It's mostly fossil fuels. Being in the HVAC industry, I have uh, dealt with energy usage all of my adult life. And the equipment that we use changes as time goes on to try to make it more efficient, to use less energy. And there's a lot of people critical of it. They say it's not built as well as it was before. Wake up, guys. It's actually better than it was. I worked back when the older equipment was there too, and it's better now. So I'm going to start a series here where I'm going to talk about global warming issues. If you don't, if you're not interested in hearing about it, just don't look at the videos. I'll take all the comments you want to put on. I'm prepared for all the guys that say I'm full of crap. But uh, this is something I think I need to talk about, and everybody needs to talk about this, and about the way we use energy, how much energy we use, and what technologies we're going to use to try to deal with what's happening to us now. As a short little chunk of history, when we first started using fossil fuels in the 1800s, scientists then considered that we would probably have global warming because of the increased amount of CO2 in the atmosphere. They thought it would be a good thing. Sometimes a, it's a bit much of a good thing. Right now we're in the middle of the disaster in Texas from Hurricane Harvey. Totally unprecedented rainfall. Uh, we've never seen anything like this before. This is the worst it's ever been. You saw the smoke pictures. We've had what we call blue mountains around here in the Northwest for many years. When I was a child, we had them, but we never had them to this extent. This is, is going off the deep end. There's a lot of fires out there. It's a lot drier out there and we need to face up to it and we need to do something about it. And HVAC people, whether it's engineers or techs or whatever, can be a big part of this because we are some of the biggest energy users out there. And so I'm going to be doing a series about 
different things on global warming. I'll try to back everything up with everything I can find because I don't want to give information that I'm not absolutely sure, sure is real. So this series uh, will be, uh, er, as I get information on different subjects, I'm going to talk about it. Let's try to do what we can to limit this. I know we can't stop it completely, but let's think about the ways that we can uh, limit its effects and in some cases eliminate what we can. And we should be the ones providing any solution we can. That's it on the start of this thing. Uh, from time to time I will be putting more videos out with ideas on, on uh, what I think maybe we can do and what the problems are we face. Thanks for listening guys.